Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Martina. How is everybody? I hope everybody is doing great and getting ready for the Christmas holiday. So you guys, I am back today with another video and in today's video, I'm going to be doing the second episode to my beauty room series. Okay, so in the first episode, if you missed that, then be sure to go check it out. I showed you guys my vanity tour. So I'm just standing at my door when you enter my room and this is what it looks like. So over there to your right is of course my vanity area that I showed you guys the last time. So in this video, we are going to be focusing on my perfume section and my nail station and everything that's over in this corner to your left here okay so as i move in closer i'm just going to give you a briefing really quick of my vanity area again but if you want a full detailed video then be sure to go back and check that video out video out okay so this is the vanity area and as we are moving over, that's my window there with my curtains and my Victoria's Secrets bag that I just have hanging over top of my curtain for decoration purposes. Okay, and then as you move on down here, I just have a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff just thrown everywhere. And then I have my little purse hanging there that I have been carrying and also my little pink trash can don't pay that any attention you guys the top of it broke on me so I have to get me another one but I just love that trash can it's so pink and girly okay so just moving on up over here in this corner of my wall I have my two Chanel pictures Chanel inspired pictures there with the ladies in their fabulous heels and outfits with their shopping bags and i got both of those pictures from burlington and then as you come down here i just have my little watch and my watch slash daughter's hair headbands on my little um watch mannequin there and then as you come down these this is just the section where i keep all of my perfume okay so i also did a video a detailed video on all of my perfume fragrances so if you are interested in that as well be sure to go back and check that video out and then of course i just keep my victoria's secrets tote there i love that tote one of my favorite totes so i just keep it there to make sure that it is in a good place and being well taken care of so as you move on down i just have my little diy swag there that i made with just some lights weave through it and then if you come over here i just have some of my cups i'm a big cup collector so i have some of my cups there and then down here i just have a whole lot of totes not totes pouches for my purses then as you move here in this middle section, I just have this little cute pull-out tray here that holds some of my card holders. Then I have my basket here. This holds most of my sanitizers. Then I have my little picture here. It says, a loving mother is the greatest gift of all. This was gifted by my church one year for Mother's Day. So I love that. I keep that there. And then in this little pullout here, I just have some more wallets in there. And then a whole bunch of letters and stuff that I got to go through over there on the side. And then when you move down here, I just have these three little bins here. Two of them are sequins. And then the one to your left there is one that I picked up from five and below that has my initial on it and in these three bins it's just nothing but purse 
pouches. So different pouches that I like to keep in my purse. So that's why I store all of them. And then my little, my little um, Valentine's Day bear that my husband gave me in 2020. So that is basically all that is on this little entertainment system here that I turned into my little perfume slash other miscellaneous things that I may need. Okay, so then moving on around, I just have another Victoria's Secret bag hanging there for decoration purposes. And then on the top there, I have my little pink um, picture frame there with just a picture of my son when he was a baby. And of course, me and my husband, and then um, me and my son down there on the bottom, his sonogram pictures, a picture with him and Santa Claus. And then as you come on down, I just have some more cups that I store on that shelf there. That shelf came from Walmart. And that Live Your Dream little wooden plaque thing here, that came from Dollar Tree. So I just put that in front of there just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. And then that pink rose you see right here, carnation, whatever it's supposed to be. Those are just the, um, the stickers that you can get from Dollar Tree and decorate your stuff with. So I just put that there. I thought that was really pretty and cute. And then as you move down here, this is just a little DIY um, fingernail polish rack that I did to just store some of my fingernail polishes. And that DIY fingernail polish rack came from someone here on YouTube. They did a video showing how to do that. I believe her YouTube name is Life Beyond 50, if I'm not mistaken. If I can find her, I will list her um, name in the description box below in case you're interested in seeing how she made that. But it's really, really neat. All, everything she used from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, that's that. And then over here on the side, more Victoria's Secrets bags just hanging on those command strips just to jazz the room up some. So then coming on down, this is an extension of my little nail area here. So I just have one of those three drawer um, pullouts that you can get from like Dollar General, Family Dollar. And I just have like random nail stuff in these drawers. So it's just a whole bunch of extra nails, nail polishes, nail filers. Um, some, I think I have some nail stamps in here, you know, the little, if I can get into it, the little stamps that you can use to put on your nails. So like I have a whole bunch of those in there. And then in this drawer, I just have more nail stuff, just oodles of nails and, um, nail forms and yeah, just a whole lot of different stuff, you guys. And then coming on down in this little basket here, I just have all of my pedicure stuff. So I do do my own pedicures at home. So I have some Epsom salt in here. Um, just little things that I like to soak my feet with. Okay, and then right here to your right here, it's just my little, my foot, my pink foot pedicure soak that I have there and then this last drawer here has more nail stuff so more nails and um, nail paints and nail dryers and my little thing here that I use to um, put my paints on when I want to do some nail art just so much stuff you guys it's a whole lot of stuff in there and I need to go through it and declutter it and kind of, you know, make it a little neater, but that's what it is for now. And then on top of that three drawer bin, I just have a little pink thing up there, container that I store stuff in. And then let's see, I have my little unicorn napkins that I like to use when I'm doing my nails. And then here is just one of those Ferrero Rocher um, 
candy containers that I kept and I just used this to store all of my 3D nail art in. Okay, so I have some 3D bows, I have some roses with the pearls on them, I have some ice creams. So yeah, just different things that you can use to decorate your nails. And then here on top is just my little glow cosmetic bag. And I just have random fingernail polishes thrown in here. Some scissors, nothing fancy. Just different fingernail polishes that come from like Family Dollar, Dollar General. Okay, so then here in the back, I just have one of these pink caddies that I got from Family Dollar. And this has more nail stuff in it. So I just have my um my foot file this thing is amazing it works so great to do your feet um this comes from walmart this thing is amazing i love it it gets all the rough patches and everything off your feet it makes your feet so smooth so i love using this whenever i do my pedicures so then um i just have some fingernail polish remover in here my little um, glass jar here that I use to clean my nail brushes with and just more random stuff here in the back you guys more nail stuff so I have some loose glitter that I like to use for my nails um, some nail powder okay so that's everything there in that section so then moving on back up to the top this is an extension from the um cup section here so i just have my holiday mac bag hanging there and another victoria's secrets bag that's hanging there as well for decoration okay guys so then right here is just my full length mirror that i have on my wall here and it's pink and nice and long for me to check out my outfits in and then on the top of it i just did like a little flower decoration situation going on that I got from Dollar Tree and I just put those flowers together and put it on the top of my so mirror. Here to the side I just have another Victoria's Secrets bag hanging from the side of my window with this little cute unicorn straw set from Dollar Tree. Okay so then over here is well, let me just show you guys the full thing here. So this is my nail station and I need to do some buffing and painting of this because I have a tore her up here. But this was um, my second vanity that I ever had and it used to be my makeup vanity. And when I switched over to the vanity that I have now, I decided to keep this one and use it as my nail station. Okay, so let me cut this light on. Maybe help you guys see things a little bit more. Okay, so starting over here, I just have, this is my wedding bouquet. Well, what's left of it anyways. So um, yeah, I had it for a long time. I got married in 2010. So I've had it for about 12 years now. And this is what's left of her, but she was so beautiful and I just had to keep her and display her some kind of way in my room. So I just choose to set her here up on my nail desk. And then um, right here, I just have some of my, oh, my Onyx professional nail dryer. So I like to use this to spray my nails after I painted them to help them dry faster. Then moving down here in this little pink box here, I just have some more nail stuff. So I have some nail filers. I have some butter knives here that I like to use to pluck things out that I may need to pluck out. Um, I have some cuticle oil back here. I have, of course, my nail drill that sits here. Then as we move here on the top, of course, this is just a little mirror. Okay, so then coming on down right here in this section, this little pink container also from Family Dollar or Dollar General. I just have some random things in here. So I have like my toe separators for when I polish my toes. I have a nail buffer here. I have my um, nail cutter, some more nail files in here, some plastic tweezers. 
so just random things and then here in this little lipstick it's supposed to be a lipstick divider but i use it for my nail things so i have this little spoon here that i use to mix powders um i have what is this oh this was just a little practice nail thing that i made to do a design with um i have my wax stick here um this is a this is actually a colored pencil, but it also works great as a wax stick to pick up your bling. Then I have my little pink scissors here, some more tweezers, nail glue, um, some clippers, a little sanding band attachment here. And then this is my more detail bit here to take off any glitter or um you know nail things that are hard to get off i like to use this little nail bit i forgot what the name of it is that is i think it's called detailing no that's not it i forgot what it's called but this little thing does the job to get those nail designs off that are stubborn so i like to use that for that and then here in the front I just have some of my little small bottles of my Model 1's gel fingernail polish. And then I have some um, regular fingernail polish, like from Dollar General, stuff like that. I have my finger paints gel polish, um, soak off base coat. I have some Sally Hansen's no chip top coat, um, LA Colors top coat. Then, of course, I have my little prep and clean dehydrant love this stuff um okay guys so then moving here i have my little container that i got from dollar tree and i just used some dollar tree stickers and uh, made the world made the word nails to go across it and inside of here that's exactly what is in here it's just some of my personal nails I have sectioned and divided off there. Just ones, you know, that was left over from kit that I can still work with and use. So I keep those in there. And then right here is just my little, um, my little container here that has all of my AV rhinestone crystals in it from Amazon, my bling bling for my nails. And then I have my little, um, what are these? My fall leaves to go on my nails, decorate my nails with. Okay, that just sits there. And then on top here, you guys, I just have some of these box nails from Dollar General that I have been showing in some of my shorts. So the ones I have on now are actually a set from Dollar General. And then I also have these ones here. And then these are just empty. I have used and then I have my Juicy Couture um, nail kit here so nothing fancy just has different things in it for your nails a little manicure kit so that's my Juicy Couture one and then I have this little mermaid one also that came from five and below and then here I just have this little bag this little stuff bag from Dollar Tree that they were selling around back to school time. And this, I just have more random fingernail polishes in it from Dollar General, Family Dollar. And then I have my nail tips here that I like to use when I do my acrylic nails. They come from Amazon. And then I have this cute little caddy here. I'm pretty sure you girls have seen this at the Dollar Tree when they were selling them. And I got quite a few of them. And I use them, one way I use them is to store like extra nail stuff in. So I have some of my sanding bits in there. And then some of those little extra nail files and cuticle pushers that comes in a nail set. Some more drill bits, just random things down in here that I need for my nails. So that's what's in there. Okay, so let me just pop this stuff up here really quick okay so then here I have this little 
Okay, you guys, so as I was saying, I have this little um, glass jar that came from also one of the dollar stores. And I just have more nail tools down in here. So I have some nail filers, these little things that you can, well, that one is jacked up. But these little um, nail things in here that you can use to do nail designs with um, just some old random brushes that I've had for a long time. Um, I love this little gadget here. This came from Sally's and this is a cotton ball pick upper. <laughs> okay, you can use it to pick your cotton ball up just like that and remove your nail polish off of your toes or your nails, you know, whatever, so that you're not messing up any other polishes that you may have applied. So I love this little gadget. Um, this is just a, of course, I brow trimmer. Most of you guys know what that is. I like to use that to um, remove any excess stuff from my nails. And then these are just little dotting tools. So I have quite a few of those. So that's everything. That's mostly, you know, mainly what's in that little jar. And then here I just have my, um, what is this called? my gel nail lamp and this is led activated i believe okay so then moving here is just a random chair i want to get a nicer chair but this one works for now and then moving on up this is just my light here that i have for my nail section so that's what that looks like a nice tall lamp came from Walmart and then over here is just I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these little drawer th drawers that you can get I think I got mine from Amazon but then again you guys not going to go into too much detail in these drawers I just have a whole lot of let me see if I can move my lamp so I can just show you a little bit so in these drawers I have more nail stuff just a whole bunch of nail stuff so I have like extra press on nails um, I have some more of those um, paints that you can use to paint your nails. Um, yeah, you guys, just nail kits. Um, what is this? This is an acrylic kit that I have some powder and tips left off in. So, moving on down to the second drawer here. More nail stuff. So many nail tips. In case you haven't noticed, I am a nail fanatic. So, I have nail stuff everywhere. Um, more loose glitters, more nail kits, yeah. Okay, so then same thing, just more random nail stuff thrown in there, nothing fancy. Then here I just have a whole bunch of nail polishes. Some of them are super old, but I just can't get rid of them, but I need to. Um, let's see, I have some more nail stuff in here, wax sticks some loose glitters that have fallen out so yeah you guys pretty much that just holds all of my nail stuff just a whole bunch of different nail things that i have left over and then up here on the top i just have this flower i call myself trying to make a flower arrangement with these flowers that i found in dollar general i thought they were so cute and i didn't have a vase at the time so i just used an old candle um, an old candle and cleaned it well cleaned it out the best I could and just stuck those down in there and just set them up there for decorative purposes so nothing fancy about that and then over here you guys I just have some more nail stuff so let me move this out of the way so I have more loose glitters in here um this is my little dappin dish that I put my acrylic liquid in more nail tips um, this little thing here is my little powder, my little, um, glass jar that I keep my powder in. Oops, I am dropping it off. That I keep my acrylic powder in. I'm doing my nails. And then back here in the back, I have some more glitters. Some more loose nail glitters in the back. So just a lot a lot of stuff back there you guys um this is my little section here where i do my nails 
So that's how it looks. And then going back over everything. Okay, a little perfume section. Vanity again. Okay, so yeah, you guys, that is gonna be it for this video. I feel like I'm gonna to have to do a whole lot of editing because I feel like I was just all over the place. But for the most part, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you um, found some ideas or something that you would like to try. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, take care of yourselves and be blessed. Bye. Thank you.